Free antivirus software has a bit of a reputation and not always a good one. A lot of people assume if it's free, it must be of low quality or worse, risky to install. And in some cases, that's true. But there are a few free antivirus tools that actually hold up to real testing. So in this video, I'll walk you through the ones that I recommend for 2025 based on performance, reliability, and what you actually get in the free tier. I'll also talk about where to cut corners and whether it makes sense to upgrade. And if you do decide to go for the paid version of any of these, check out the links in the description. They're affiliate links, which means you'll get the best available discount and it helps support the channel too at no cost to you. So let's start off with the free antivirus service from Total AV, which I first used on my own PC because they always score well in independent audits and expert tests like AV Labs, where they get close to perfect scores for protection and performance on Windows PCs. They also get great scores for usability, protection, and performance on Android devices. Now, the free version of Total AV only has a few basic functions, but it gives decent protection for Windows, Mac, Android, even iOS. And the paid version has a nice real-time scan feature, while the free version has a smart scan that's definitely slower, which you would expect because it's free. And although it does check for malware, it doesn't do it in real time. But you can set it to run weekly, and you should be good to go. The free version does have some other nice features, like the premium web shield, which gives you solid real-time protection from scams, phishing, and website spoofing. Now, the premium version of Total AV has some great features. It offers basic malware scanning, it comes with phishing scan protection, and device optimizer all bundled into one easy dashboard. Now, the best part, in my opinion, is the fast and simple VPN, which has 50 super fast servers in over 30 countries worldwide to keep your browsing private and your IP hidden. Another great premium tool that you get with a Total AV paid subscription is the effective ad blocker. It stops all those nosy site trackers and annoying pop-ups. And there's also the automatic data breach protection. Also, their system tune-up works way better than any others I've tried. But there is a downside. There's no firewall feature. And while it's very reasonably priced for the first year, prices do go up dramatically when you are new. So keep that in mind if you choose this one. Remember, the free plan does offer a basic layer of protection via a weekly malware scan, and that is probably good enough for those of us who don't use the internet very much. But for advanced protection from the kind of constant threats you and I encounter online every single day, I do recommend you think about paying for the premium version. Total AV plans start at $19 for the whole first year, with full access to all their advanced features for up to three devices. And if you do decide you'd like to go for the advanced protection from a premium antivirus service, then make sure you check out the links down in the description below to get a nice discount. Next up is Norton Antivirus. They have a seven day free trial that gives you full access to all the advanced features available in their paid plans. And that includes Norton for Gamers, all their mobile and privacy protection plans, and everything from their other premium packages. Norton has a great reputation. They'll check your device for all the usual suspects like malware, spyware, viruses, trojans, or ransomware. Now, I've used the free trial to test out Norton's premium features, and what I noticed was how good their advanced protection from ransomware is, which is a big issue these days. They also have useful day-to-day -day security measures, like email spam filtering tools and phishing protection, as well as dark web monitoring and lifelock identity protection features. Plus, they offer comprehensive parental control features and cloud backup of your most sensitive data, as well as a bunch of handy PC tune-up tools that you can use to optimize your device. Now, what makes Norton worth paying for and special is their fully customizable firewall feature, which is way more advanced than any of their competitors. They have a pretty good VPN that allows you to easily stream whatever you want and surf the web privately. And their password manager is a simple way to keep all of your logins secure. So you get a bunch of features when you first sign up. And although there is no permanent free plan, you can take advantage of special free trial offers. Check the affiliate links in the video description below to find some. One downside for me, though, is the desktop app. It's less user-friendly than I'd like, but it does have some decent controls. And although they have apps for iOS and Android, their software works better on Android than it does on iOS. And Norton does use more RAM to run than other free antiviruses in this video. But they have a lot of free tools, like AI-powered scam detectors and online anti-tracking and privacy scans, as well as the seven-day trial available on any premium plan. Norton also has a risk-free 60-day money-back guarantee, which gives you two months to try it out. 
Last one on the list is a free antivirus plan from Bitdefender that has real-time protection with constant monitoring for threats, unlike Total AV. And their cloud-based antivirus engine performed really well in my testing. It caught 99% of malware samples. I also noticed that it ran efficiently enough to where even a full system scan didn't slow my PC down too much. Now, the free version of Bitdefender has some other nice features, like an effective phishing filter and something called Advanced Threat Defense that checks all your installed apps for suspicious behavior, like using too much data or unexpected system changes. But it only covers one device. Another con is that while the free antivirus works great on Windows and Android, you get much less functionality when it comes to Mac computers or iOS devices. And if you want to try all the advanced features, you need to subscribe to a premium plan. These start at 25 bucks for one device for one year. But all of Bitdefender's premium plans have a 30-day free trial, where you can test the VPN and password manager without ever having to enter your credit card details. Now, when it comes to their premium plans, the privacy firewall and their multi-layer ransomware protection was great. Plus, the real-time fraud monitoring features stood out for me because you don't get those with other premium antivirus services. You can also keep your device running efficiently with their system optimization tools. And they also do have some parental control features that let you restrict access to certain sites and set screen time limits. But if you've used other premium parental control software, then Bitdefender might seem a little basic. Overall, Bitdefender is another great option. So these are my top three free antivirus options for 2025. But which one should I choose? Well, the one thing to remember is that any free version of any antivirus brand is never going to give you all the features and protection you actually need. They're just showing you a window to showcase all the cool features you could have by buying a subscription. But I can tell you that Total AV, Norton, and Bitdefender are all fantastic, reliable, affordable options that you can always use or try for free to see if you like how they work on your device before you commit to paying for something more premium. Well, that is it for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do decide that premium is the only way to go when it comes to antivirus protection, check out the affiliate links in the description below to get a discount you won't find on their websites. And as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, and I'll try to get back to any comments or questions you leave below as fast as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.